You are now listening to Tailgate with Taylor, the show that brings you news and sports from across Moorhead. I am your host, Taylor Johnson. Now on this week's sportscast. Last week, Moorhead State men's basketball had a game at Jacksonville State on Thursday. The men and women's basketball teams had a doubleheader at Tennessee Tech on Saturday. On Thursday, Moorhead came out with a big win. The score was 85-66. Davon Cooper came up with a strong 20 points, making him the leading scorer. James Baker had six rebounds, making him the leading rebounder. On Saturday for the men, men's basketball came up with a big win over Tennessee Tech. Janiya Broom swept the board with a total of 22 points, and he led the team with 13 rebounds. The score was 74-55. The men will keep their winning streak going with a total of nine wins now. They're still going strong. For the women, they lost to Tennessee Tech, unfortunately, with a score of 49 to 58. Lauren Carter led with 14 points and Gabby Crawford had 12 rebounds. The women's record is now five and 10. The men's record is now 13 and six. According to MSU Athletics, James Baker is tied for third place in Moorhead's program history with 115 career block shots. Gabby Crawford received her sixth double-double after Saturday's game against Tennessee Tech. Janiya Broom received his fifth career double-double after Saturday's game against Tennessee Tech. This week, Moorhead State has two double-headers at home against Murray State and Austin P on Thursday at 4 and 7 and on Saturday at 1 and 4. The last time we played Murray State, it was at third place and the men had a close game, but they came out with a win. Let's run on over to the track where men and women's cross country teams go to Murray State on Friday. Let's spike on over to the court where volleyball will be traveling to Eastern Illinois on Sunday at four. Finally, let's shoot on over to the range where Rifle will perform on Saturday in OBC Championships at 8 a.m. I wanna wish everyone good luck and students, you get into the games for free at the university with your Eagle IDs. Now on to Round County Sports. The Round County Middle School boys basketball team will be traveling to Bath County on Thursday. Tip-off will be at 5.30. The middle school boys basketball team, 7th through 8th, will also be playing in a tournament for the OVC Conference on Saturday. Location and time have not been announced yet. The middle school boys basketball team will play Elliott County on Monday at the middle school. Tip-off will be at 5.30. This week in Moorhead, as part of Moorhead State University's continued commitment to the Commonwealth, officials at MSU have announced plans to freeze campus residential housing rates for the next school year. Andrea Grimes and MSU's volleyball team helped with the COVID-19 vaccine clinic at St. Clair by taking temperatures, walking patients through paperwork, and answering questions. Three Moorhead shelter pups made it in this year's Puppy Bowl. Also watch out for the upcoming app harvest update. All these stories can be found on the Trailblazer. For more, be sure to check out the Trailblazer throughout the week on Facebook and Twitter at MSU Trailblazer. For my Super Bowl fans, don't forget the Super Bowl is Sunday at 6.30. Be sure to check out Sarah Thomas as she is the first female to ever officiate for the Super Bowl. Thank you for tuning in for the first episode of Tailgate with Taylor. Tune in next Tuesday for more news and sports. I am your host, Taylor Johnson. Let's go Eagles!